Stars take it, man. Make sure you like and subscribe. More hot shit coming soon. Shots taken, game is on the line, got the crowd shaking. Los Angeles Lakers never forsaken. Smoking jungle boys. Right, everybody, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Shots Taken. My name is David, and today we have back Marlon. Yes, sir. Big fella in the building. We got our boy Pat again. Big P in here. All right, thank you guys for tuning in. Yes, sir. My like pleasure. always. You know what time it is. Yeah, cheers, cheers, cheers. Shots time, Pat. Hold on. Hold Get on. Rough. How? Yes, sir, right there. Drinking that Jameson. Holy moly. <sighs> Sounds like. All right, Marlon. Well, <laughs> uh, thank you for coming back on. We got a lot to talk about. Yes, sir. My and pleasure. as everybody knows, Marlon is the biggest Clipper fan out there. Clippers, man. Lob City Clips. <laughs> They're not Lob City no more, though. Exactly. That's I've been rocking since. Okay. Yeah. All right, for sure. Yeah, that's what it is. All right, I guess we'll get started. Um, I'm going to pull up the standings right here. Currently, your Clippers third place. are third place. Right now, they're 18 and eighth. Yeah. They're two and a half games behind the top spot. Yep, yep. So, I see the Jazz. Jazz beating the Lakers, huh? Yeah. Interesting. All right. So my question is, are the Clippers a legit three seed? Hmm. Or do you think they're like underperforming or overperforming, or do you think they're steady pacing? I think we're steady pacing at this point. Like, you know, we're still filling out the squad. Got a couple of new acquisitions. I think that, um, sure, we just competing with the Lakers. We're not going to go down anymore. You know, we're just trying to compete with the best, stay healthy. That's all that really matters, staying healthy. What do you think, Pat? You think um, the Clippers are legit? Um, Yeah. They're uh-huh. ready. They're ready. Might go down in the playoffs. Between us, the Lakers, Hopefully, man. I – I don't know. Are we? That's still the, something to find out. PG is going off. That's true. PG is having a good season. I will put up his stats right now. I have it pulled up right here. So Paul George is averaging 24 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists. But what's really impressive is this. He's shooting 50% from the field, 47% from 3, mm-hmm. and 90% from free throw. So he's in the 50-40-90 club. Yes, sir. So – I think they're more of a threat this season than they were last season. Yeah, I think last season they were to all prove, top. Man. Yeah, but David, not to us, though. I don't yeah. think they're a threat to us yeah. right now. You don't they're think not. so? I no. think they're Lakers? the only team in the West. Lakers? No. I don't think they're a threat to us. In the West, I think they're the only threat to us. Only in the West. Man, we got a lot okay. to prove. That's all yeah. I'm saying. We got a lot I'm to saying prove. We blew it last I'm year. I'm saying we could take them. We can only get better. Yeah. That's just what I was coming. We got Ibaka, Ibaka. He's scratching the floor for us. He's making his shots. You know, that's just. That's just know, what it is. It got to be like that, man. <laughs> Bro, like, man, the way we went out, that's, that can't go down again. It's a lot to prove. I feel like they're they going to ball a lot harder this year. Yeah, for sure. And I feel like they're c- – I feel like the media has put a lot of attention to either the Lakers or the Brooklyn Nets. Yeah. And the Clippers yeah. kind of like. Fell back. But you, yeah. it's cool. We don't need the media. We just need to be in the playoffs and we need to compete when it's time to compete. You know, so people talk a lot, you know. Yeah, because I feel like last year the Clippers were like, they were like the favorites. They were yeah. the team to beat. Yeah. Yeah. Now they're just like, all right, we saw them blew a 3-1 yeah. lead. Yeah, yeah. It don't matter what we do. They don't respect it. But until we do it, you got to respect it. So what it got to be. All right. Well, I got a question about the Clippers then. Um, What's going on? Do you think, like, as far as, like, Kawhi Leonard, like, are you okay with him playing back-to-backs now? Because I'm actually kind of surprised now that he mm-hmm. plays back-to-backs. Were you talking about back-to-back games? Yeah, like back-to-back games. He hasn't He's playing more minutes. Yet. Yeah, he hasn't load managed yet. Like, are you concerned or are you, like, happy for him mm. that he's actually doing that? Kawhi's one of those players that really plays every minute of the game anyway. You know, like, you know, he's he doesn't speak. He plays. He plays with his heart. So, that's if it's fine with him, it's fine with me. Simple as that. Like, you know, if he, you know, can stay healthy and he doesn't have a problem with it, you know, he's balling. You know, he's playing, he's playing defense. 
He got to stay on the court. As long as whoever is the, the main scorer is on the court, he needs to be on the court. Simple as that. Like, you know what I mean? If KD's in the whole game, then he's in that whole game, you know? Right. He got to guard him. It's just basketball. It's the hour of your life, you know? Play it. <laughs> Play it. The whole thing. Whole heart. What about you, Pat? What do you think of Kawhi? Man, Kawhi, right now he's playing. He's playing good. He's playing good. I, I think they they say he is communicating, you know, with with this team this time. The robot actually talks now. Like. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, I think they're like. You know, <laughs> I think the team is on. I think the, you know, he actually did the face and everything. <laughs> I think the team Big is fell on. Fell in the building. <laughs> oh my god. The, the robot, like he he got new batteries, so now he's like able to play and. Might be a different robot. I don't think he's a Terminator anymore, but nah, he's like a he's like Wally a, right now. Man. He's like a Tesla. He's a model. very consistent player. He's not a um a player that's gonna hit the right. game. Well, I can't even lie, he hit the game winner when he had to, but he's not a player that's you know that's Paul George more. But he's gonna be consistent. He's gonna do what he's supposed to do. He's gonna play good defense. A lot of that doesn't get recognized. You know, right. they recognize points. You know. They don't. They don't see how many points you stop from scoring being scored. Right. I feel like because Kawhi back then was known as like a defensive stopper. Yep. But now that he carries more of an offensive load, that's kind of like, like, like it's behind him now. Like a lot of people don't see like how good he is on defense. You know, we're Laker fans, but I'll give props to the Clippers. I think they're a legit team in the West. For now. For now. Yep. Yep. As long as we can stay healthy. All right, I have another question uh, about the Clippers, though. What do you think of them, like, making any trades, like, to improve the roster? Or you think they're going to stick through that same roster and then just keep it going? Another big man wouldn't hurt. Another big man wouldn't hurt. But um, He always wanted a big man, too. Yeah, we yeah. need a big man. We need. I mean, Ibaka, he's a, he's a decent big, but he's more of a power forward than a center. Right, so he's pretty small. Exactly, he's not so going to guard AD. A seven footer, we need a seven footer. Anybody, seven feet, slide to the clips. You know, <laughs> oh God. I need you. What What do you think of the rumors of um, Bradley Beal potentially going to the? That'd Clippers? be cool. That'd be cool, man. They need to save that man. He been locked up for a while. I but, feel so but bad. That's for a Bradley trade, Beal. though. That's a that would be. Who would we give up for trade. him, though? That's I would assume question, like Lou will. Mm. Um, like, but I, yeah, that's another thing. Like, I feel like you gave up a lot. Like, you guys don't have a lot to give. Yeah, you it can't would just give be up like our, Lou Will, our Pat too. for the squad yeah. you're playing with right now. Lou Will and Pat, mm, Pat, Pat. People underestimate Pat. He he great, plays great defense on the star players. Yeah, you feel me? A, a lot of the star point guards, Pat limits their shit. Even LeBron James. We remember what happened. Stop You it. remember what happened Stop, yeah. Stop bringing the bullshit yeah. <laughs> that, that last We saw what he did bullshit. Alonzo it We saw what he did Alonzo Not LeBron James No I recall seeing LeBron trying to shoot The game on the shot And Oh he stripped him down He stripped game. it Yeah Yeah All Great right. defense on, on star players So you know People always talk about Pat He's He doesn't do whatever He doesn't score But you know what He's a great defender I want to go back to Bradley Beal And the Wizards and I was looking at his roster, like who he plays with. I'm gonna pull it up right here. I see it. It's so sad. That's the 21 squad. Yeah, this is their current <laughs> squad. It's so sad. I'm like, his obviously he has Westbrook, but Westbrook ain't playing back to back. He has this guy Cassius Winston. He looks Who's exactly that? like Julius Randle, but it's not him. I was looking at Lopez. Is that Lopez? Ro yeah, Robin okay. Lopez and. Alex Lant, okay. This is their, like, young Thomas player. Bryant. <laughs> An yeah. old Laker. He has yeah, he's no a... scores. Right? No, man, he has no That's why scores. you see him dropping 40. You see Russ will drop 40. They'll it's both drop losing. 40. Still losing, yep. We need a free Bradley That's deal. tough. That's tough. All right, because, look, in the Eastern Conference, the Washington Wizards are 6-16. Six and 16. They're 14th in the East. And the weird thing is that Bradley Beal is still, like, super loyal to – to Washington. That money, you know, shoot. Sure. They got all them <laughs> bums on the team. They got a they, he probably got the fattest check. For well, sure. Yeah, but yeah, for sure. But he's already has the money. Why not just get traded now? You're still gonna get paid the same thing. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised. What do you think, Pat? You think he'll get traded or wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised. He said he wanted to say that, remember? Yeah, that's why. He said that? Yeah. yeah. He did say that, but 
John Wall said the same damn thing years ago. <laughs> Dwight Howard said the same thing. <laughs> Dwight Howard Cole. <laughs> like, you don't know. I want to say, damn, he's staying. He gonna stay. I, I hope so. If he stays, then, like, honestly, I, I don't want to hear no more the excuses the then. Because every game, after they take an L, I swear to God, he looks, like, depressed. He's all sad, mad. So what I'm are like, you waiting for, David? Are you waiting for Bradley Beal to be in a playoff game? I'm just waiting for him to start, like... I'm kind of no, triggered because no, he's about he's probably not going to win a championship ever if he stays with the Washington Warriors. Yeah. But I'm right. tired of him saying like, "Yo, we need a win. We need a win. We suck. We can't guard a parked car." But I'm like, dude, then why are you staying there? It's like someone that complains about their job all day and then like yeah. you continue to work there for years. Yeah, on. and they're getting job offers like, "Hey, you come and work with us. You get paid more. You have an easier lifestyle. This, this, and probably that." He's content. like, "Nah." He's probably I'm, content. I think so. <laughs> I mean, the thing about it is, he's the um, he's the star. He's the star where he's at. So, you know, you know, everybody looks for him. I don't know. I I like Bradley Beal, but if he doesn't like demand for a trade, then to me, he's kind of like he's gonna fall off my list. Like he's like his numbers are just inflated because he plays for a shitty team. And you can't complain that you want to win, but you won't let yourself get traded. It's right. time. Like, Russ doesn't play back-to-backs. He's there for his stats. Like, that man didn't not really give a win. damn about that trade, huh? Like, Westbrook just wanted to leave. Like, mm-hmm. he didn't give a damn. It was the Wizards. Where it was, huh? He yeah, he just wanted man. to get out of here. He well, on paper, just thinking, like, like, damn, that team is If you told me, like, damn, I have Westbrook and Bradley be on my team, you think it's something. You but think at least a playoff. Like um, that's two point guards. They can't be in at the same time. No, actually that's probably probably playoffs in the blackout. Like, yeah. Does he play shooting guard? Yeah, he, he plays shooting, play shooting guard. guard. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think, like, on paper, you would think they work because, like, Bradley Beal's not, like, a hardcore ball handler. He doesn't hog the ball. Right. You know, he gets his shots up, but he makes them, and then Westbrook is the ball hog. Right, right, right. So it's like, you would think at least they would at least work. But I think this also says a lot about Westbrook, too. Like, I don't want to shit on Bradley Beal this whole time, but, like, I think looking at Westbrook as the guy, like, the go-to guy that's going to lead you, I think that's, like, that's David, done already. Like, David, I don't think we've been looking at Westbrook like that ever since but you can. the right. Houston failure Triple last doubles. year, bro. Triple doubles. That's true. Triple doubles. But that's it. Triple nah, doubles. David, it's that's done. It. I think it's – That's double. all we're going to know him for. I think it's a wrap, Triple David, doubles. on the, the Westbrook talk. He's a selfish player. But he yeah. – not. Nah, he, but uh, – but not really because a triple double consists of assists. Yeah, but yeah. they're kind of like they stat padding passes. assists, you know. Uh, yeah. A pass, an assist is an assist, a bucket is a bucket. That's true, but I think Westbrook is just gonna go down as like, oh yeah, he was cool. Yeah, he, he put up the triple doubles, yeah. but he was a energy, man. Yeah, energy, yeah. He would go down for one of the top ones. He'll like, be like. Because a lot of people compare him to, like, Oscar Robinson because Ro- Oscar Robinson was, like, the last player before Westbrook to average a triple-double. But no one ever thinks of Oscar Robinson as, like, an all-time great. You're not going to put him on your top five. Yeah. Even though numbers-wise, you'll think, like, damn, what the hell? He averaged 30, 10, and 10. Right. That's. I think if Westbrook wants to, like, win, maybe he has to be, like, the third. I think he has to be the third best player because – we already went to one where he was the first best player. They get knocked down the first round. When he was the second best player, they got knocked down the second round with him and James Harden. Right. And him and KD, they didn't win nothing. Thunder. They're young. I think, I think it's that time where Westbrook, either he goes to crappy teams, put up triple doubles, you know, excite the fans, or if he wants to win, he's going to have to be like the third guy. Facto. Possibly. All right. Facto. <sighs> But I want to lead into this, Mm. the NBA's MVP ladder. These are the top 10 players that is considered, like, MVP right now. Damn right. LeBron went back up to number one. Number two, Joel Embiid. Number three, Jokic. I got my vote. Yep. KD, Kawhi, Giannis, PG, Luka, Stephen Curry. They got Kawhi before Giannis? Who? I feel like Giannis is, like... You think Kawhi's higher than Giannis, or you think he should be below him? Honestly, even though I'm a Clipper fan, I feel like Giannis puts in more work than Kawhi for his team. But oh. um, 
That's just me. I mean, Curry hasn't he been doing his thing? They put Curry and Dame in one thing. That's that what? Like tight for ninth. I guess. That's cool. That's I okay guess. with me, but I got my That's vote. That's not cool. I got my vote. I got LeBron James, MVP. Sorry, me guys. too. Suckers. Yeah. LeBron James. If LeBron James wins MVP this year, does he move up in the ranking, being as like one of the oldest players to ever win an MVP? Does he? Well, how old is he now? I believe 36. Yeah. I would, I would believe so. LeBron's been doing it for a long time. I feel like he should have won it last year, but they gave it to Giannis. Yeah. They, they gave it to Giannis? Yeah, Giannis, yeah he, Giannis back to back. Year. That's what I was saying. Like, LeBron I don't know. What, what is Giannis adding? Can, can we see what Giannis is averaging? Yeah, let me pull it yeah, up. Yeah, why is... Kawhi and I mean, and of course KD, Jokic. Nah, Jokic, not Giannis for sure. Thing. It's between Embiid and LeBron. Let me pull it up real quick. This year. All right, so Giannis is averaging 28, 11, and 5. Damn. 56 from the field, 27 from 3, and 63 from the free throw line. Mm, can't shoot. Still can't shoot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shoot, but shit, those are good you numbers. Know, yeah, oh, I know, I know. Shit, eleven, eleven Damn. rebounds, five assists, twenty-eight points. It's solid, but I feel like since he won back-to-back uh, MVPs, he hasn't performed in the playoffs. The same, you know. Like, why vote for him? Nah, I feel like he's never winning an MVP again. Nah, he's done with that. Unless he wins like championships in like the near future, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah. Well, we do know he's at, he's going to be there for the next couple years. Yeah. But switching over to stats, because you did mention that Steph and Dame were. Yeah, let's see what they're talking about. Look at this, though. This is Steph Curry's MVP stats. I'm going to pull it up. The 2015-2016. Mm. That was his unanimous MVP. He was averaging 36 on 20 shots a, uh, 20 shots a 10. And this season, he's averaging 29.4, which is like 0. .6 Basically off. the same. The same thing. The same thing with this is, uh huh, but it's the competition. The competition is up. Yep. So but you can't apply he's with him, the same. But David, that was with Clay Thompson. Mm-hmm. What year was that? Twenty sixteen. So Curry's putting up his same MVP stats. No, that was 2015, 20. That was his unanimous MVP year. He's putting up the same stats, and but right now the only thing is that the Warriors are in the eighth slot in the playoffs. That's that. That plays a big role too. Yeah, but do you think if the Warriors were higher, this like Curry would be ahead? Yes, yeah. of course. He'll be more in the spotlight. I feel yeah. like this has like been a super underrated season for Steph Curry. Like a lot of people. Yeah, are underrated. Underrated. yeah. that's why I was like, David. I've been seeing a nah. lot of things. I've been not seeing yet, a lot guys, of things. Not yet, but it is. It is. Nah, he's he's having an underrated season. He's it's saying coming underrated. To light. It's coming to light. All right, it's coming. He's to light. saying underrated because they got him ranked number nine, like Steph Curry number nine, and he's putting and up he's it. tied with the with Dame. I mean, Dame is a baller too. Let's just pull up Dame shit. Let's see what Dame looking like. All right. Up real quick, hold on. Yeah, because uh, Dame, I feel like every, every year he's been putting up like the same stats. But he's been carrying this team. Yeah, so he's averaging 29, 4, and 7, 45% from the field, and 38 from three. So his percentages are not like all there. Yeah, he's, because the whole squad shoots. Yeah, but the trouble is, our fifth without CJ McCollum. CJ McCollum's been hurt. Mm. Huh? Melo. Mm-hmm. They got Trent. Yeah, Covington. They got a squad. CJ. Yeah, so I can see why they have them tied, but I don't like that they're that low. Nah, he's I'd probably okay. put Steph and Dame like He's okay where he's at. Fifth? Yeah. I'd probably switch Kawhi. Low key. I wouldn't complain about it. So Paul George he's is, looking for like Paul this. George he's more, is of a, under Kawhi. more of a acquisition to his team than not even acquisition is the word. Um, he He, he matters more. He matters yeah. more to his team. Especially, I, I think the reason why a lot of people aren't talking about Steph, because I don't know if you remember, like, their first five games, they were getting blown out. Right, right. That yeah. was pretty bad. And then st- everyone's like, where's Steph? He's only dropping, like, 22 points, stuff yeah. like that. That's yeah, still a decent amount of points. Because they're used right. to, they're used what, to like, Steph? 30, you, 40. Numbers. So I think, I think if high key, I think he might be a sleeper. Like, if I was gambling and, like, the Warriors have, like, a an uphill trend, Drop like twenty five bucks on Steph. Uphill, yeah. David. How? Man. If the Warriors, where, you, where, where you got the Warriors? I got the five for you, baby. You got the Warriors, David. You got them going up. They can go to six. 
because they're, they're they're only a game behind from the sixth seed. Pull up their schedule, David. Pull up their schedule right now. <laughs> All right, hold on. They they did beat the Lakers, but that was lucky. We were supposed to beat them. That was just we were just being lazy. Yeah. So like, they play, I, that game is not kind of me. Like they cannot schedule. beat us, David. So, all right, the next game it will be against the Nets, Cavaliers, Heat, Magic. Nets? Nets, okay. They beat yeah. the Nets already, did they? No, they got blown out. Remember? They got blown out by Nets? That's why everyone okay. thought, like, oh, shoot, the Warriors might be tanking again. Right. Because remember, they had, like, Kelly Oubre was, like, he couldn't hit a shot for, like, But now two it's weeks. different, though. <laughs> now they're playing. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I can see them, like, hypothetically Guys, up. Guys, don't get it twisted. The NBA started in December, so right now is... Ooh, it's February. Right now it's December. What? It's December in NBA NBA world. Oh, like instead of like yeah, they would have started in October. Exactly. Okay, so that's true. We're only in like week now eight. It's, now is where they get heat. They get heating up. Like it's heating up. We're right heating now. up. Yep. Yeah, you dig? That's true. So they might play now. That's true. Curry is on fire now, is he? Yeah, he's on fire. Okay. He's uh, MVP sets. Yep. Thirty points. And that, and it's funny because against Nets. Is KD going to be out? Because KD's been out for a cool minute. No, I, I believe his is? his thing, he comes back. By the time this episode releases, he'll be out. He'll be out. He'll be back out. Because I believe he's done with his COVID protocols or some shit like that. <laughs> you play him on the 18th, I think. You going to put money on that game? I got us. All right, for sure. Same One here. of them will be out. Or <laughs> I, I, I want to... Uh, I will play all of them. But I hope AD's back. Right, right. I have a question. What do you think of that game? Because I feel like that was like the first like game of the season where like, all right, you saw two elite teams right. to really like kind of like put them where they're at when the Nets played the Clippers. Right. Did you watch that game? That was a good game. Um, I don't even think I watched it, bro. I didn't watch it. It was lit. It was lit. Yeah, it came down to the wire. Dang, I missed out. It was, good, it was a good game. It was a good game. It's probably out turning up. Man, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that shit was probably lit though. I was like Brooklyn, who ended, who ended Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn like, barely. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so it was like game. It was a game game. Kawhi. It's just game it. game. Okay. Kawhi missed it. Kawhi, Kawhi was up to Kawhi. Yeah. yeah he missed. <laughs> like I said, he's not a game winner type of guy. Like. All right. Okay. All right. So you're telling me that you would rather have Paul George take the last shot over Kawhi? Yeah. Oh, it sucks shit. because damn, that's that's, that's a good one, yeah. Bro. I honestly would though. I would honestly say. Lou Will oh, take that bitch. Uh, I'll say Lou Will too. Lou Will. <laughs> I got Lou Will on it. Lou you sound Will. like uh, Skip oh, Bayless. That's what Skip yeah, Bayless was saying. Yeah, Lou Will pull. I have Lou Will do it, but uh, yeah, it would be Lou Will, and then it would be um George, then it would be Kawhi, Kawhi. third, Kawhi third, Kawhi. That's, even though he did it one time, that was under all the big lights, but that's not what he. That's Clip not his MJ, MJ, big fella coming for your spot, son. That's, <laughs> that's not his MO, man. He plays good D. He'll make a good defensive play, but let the scorer score. Don't tell him. You better tell Ty Lu, send him a little email. Man, he going to see shots taken. Tell him. Tell yeah, him there you go. Room. Tell him to give it to Lil Will. Shots taken. If they see Five it, sec- make sure seconds. to like and subscribe. <laughs> yes, sir. David, rookie of the year. Ooh. BBB. LaMelo Ball. Ooh. LaMelo Ball is on track. Oh, oh my. God. Yo, Chino Hill, stand up, son. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what do you think of uh, LaMelo Ball? He we haven't got your developing. chance because we love him. He's developing. He's about to be a hooper, man. You know, he's been a hooper, but he's about to be like, you know, stat like top. Top like in that top ten, like he he'll probably be there next year. Oh really? Top ten, I think so. You think, think he'll so. jump that fast? I think so. I think so, man. Basketball is his life. What do you think of them? Uh, potentially, maybe tenth, ninth spot. Nothing major, but yeah, he gonna make I, some noise. I got I got him in the playoffs. I've he gonna make at, some noise. I've been had him in the playoffs. He's been making noise. All right, I want to pull this up for you guys. He's making plays. Look at this. LaMelo Ball leads all NBA rookies for total points, rebounds, assists, steals, double-doubles, triple-doubles, and player efficiency rating. I'm telling just you. pretty much every major stat in basketball. Everything. It's, just, it's, just, it's just getting better, guys. It's just getting better. I love it. Let's pull up Chino his Hills. 
Let's pull up his stats. Let's see. We um, he's doing he good right now, and he was even shooting at the beginning. Those right, three right. pointers came in like Down. last month. All right, so right now Lamelo Ball is averaging fourteen point three as points, a rookie, five rebounds, six assists, and then he shoots forty three from the field and thirty five. What is he from, clocked in as a point guard? Yeah, he's their point guard. But here is the stat: I really, he only averages twenty seven minutes a game. Out of what, 30, 48. 48. So he's like playing backup minutes and he's and he's leading all rookies. When you know rookies are usually the ones they just throw them out there and they're trying to like stat pad and they try to like yeah, but develop them. But to me, David, he's working his way up there. Which is why I like, you know, he's MJ's like, no, nah, you got to go through the ropes. You got two veteran guards and Terry Rozier and Devontae right. Graham. Right. True. You got to earn your minutes, they are which is what them. I like. And I think it's going to help out LaMelo Ball. And he is doing it. Like, he's playing his role, and it's really working. Dude. Yeah, he's like, doing his thing. I know. Like, I, I got them in the playoffs. Same here. I think they'll make it to the playoffs. I don't know who, the they're, play. I don't know who they'll play, but. Maybe. Where are they at right now? Right now, they're God seven. bless them. Oh, yeah. They're going to make it. Yeah. yeah they're they're oh, they're, they're, they're beating in. the Hawks? Dang. Nigga, Ice train. Well, because remember, the Hawks had a bunch of injuries, like Gallinari and, like, Clint Collins was out. Every, oh yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of people were out. So I think I, I saw um, I saw Galarian play the last one. Yeah, well, their team is like they're barely starting to play now. So I still have the Hawks getting back in there, but I I have both Hawks and Charlotte Hornets. Okay. This playoff season is gonna be a little different, guys. I just want to see Lamelo Ball play in the playoffs before Lonzo, unless the Hornets make the big blockbuster trade and trade for Lonzo Ball to join him with uh, Lamelo Ball and Charlotte. <laughs> what do you think of that? You think you think Lamelo should play with uh, Lonzo? Nah, I think they should keep, compete versus each other. You think so? <laughs> All right. Uh, I think they play the same position. He's Maybe doing good, they right? They're at different positions. It would be cool, but they play the same position. Let's see him watch them compete. They they play they play they um did in on his Lonzo one no no Lamelo one and he outplayed him yeah yeah. What do you think of Lonzo, though? You think he's going to stay with the Pelicans, or you think they'll, like, get ready to trade him? Hmm. It just all depends on chemistry, depending on how they play together. Right. That's what I think. Yeah, because uh, I believe in Lonzo, though. Shout yeah. out Chino Hills. All right, guys. Do you guys <laughs> think if Zion would have got drafted to, like, the Knicks, they would be, like, a better team? The, the Knicks? Than the Pelicans? In the what? No. The Peloton? Peloton? I think the he's Peloton. in the best spot because not only does he, he just take it a plantain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chill food. I'm just kidding. Uh-huh. <laughs> now, uh, honestly, I think like Zion benefits from going to the Pelicans because first he has Brandon Ingram with them. He's not like going to be like the rookie that's by himself, right. had to carry a franchise like when so AD was there. So you don't think he's the guy? Ingram is the guy. No, I just think he doesn't have that pressure. Like, remember, like, AD you know, Chris when AD Paul. was there and Chris Paul was there, he doesn't have that pressure now because they gave him, like, like a crew to, like, grow with. You feel me? Like, so it'll be. Right, a couple of young cats. And then Ingram was an all-star last year. And then, yeah. so there's Ingram there. Lonzo, like, makes Zion kind of look good because you just throw him lobs, right. give him easy buckets. They have Josh Hart. You know what I mean? They brought him Steven Adams. They gave him a squad. Hey, Steven Adams was a great acquisition. But they're not even playing that well, though. Look. What, where are they at? The Pelicans are 12th right now. Not in the last place. But How many games are they behind the next? Who are they behind? <laughs> they're behind the Mavericks, sadly. The Mavericks. Huh? What, what, are they, what do they say? What, what's his name? What's his name? Don't disrespect. What's, what, what's his name? What's his name? Do not disrespect our man, St. Luca. Put it up, put it up, put it up. Who, put is, it up. That? Who is that guy, man? St. Paul Clot, put your lighters in the air right now. <laughs> put your Saint, lighters in the air. St. Luca Doncic. Fire. Don't you ever disrespect our man. He's just having a bad Levin stretch. Place. Luca the Saint. Uh, That's tough. I am St. the Pat. We uh, are still putting our prayers in that the Dallas Mavericks will go to the playoffs. They're going to knock down the Spurs. It sounds amazing. We just got poor Zingard forever. back. <laughs> what kind of forever? <laughs> we just got Porzing God back oh, with Saint Luca. We'll see what happens. I think we'll. I think we'll make some moves. I think the Dallas, the Dallas Mavericks. If you're listening to this, Mark Cuban, 
I would go guy. after either Bradley Beal or Zach Levine and pair him with Luca. Man. Wow. Who's taking yeah. a, a they got Bradley Seth Curry Beal? spot? Who's taking Curry's spot? Josh Richardson. What? He's like a solid player. Josh Richardson. He taking, play who's, for, oh, Seth? Is he Seth playing Curry's. or is he hurt? Yeah, he, he just came back. I think okay. he had hey, Seth is good too. He was balling. Yeah, but he's, they, trade him, they trade him to the, the Sixers. He's at the Sixers now. With his father in law. Oh, yeah. So, Mavs need one, huh? I think they need to add that piece now. Because remember what they were able to do with just Luca and Porzingis. God. He's not a god. He's just tall. <laughs> he can shoot. Porzingis. God. He is the European AD. Eleven. And Luca is the European Braun. Eleven. Bro. I think they'll go up though. Like I think they have to. <laughs> Without eleven. Because they're two games behind oh. the. The ninth spot. So, yeah, don't disrespect my my, my man Saint Luke. <laughs> All right, so I want to get into uh, the final topic of the day. What we going to talk about? NBA Two K. Oh my shit! <laughs> oh shit! What do you think of Two K Ten? Shout out to Two K Ten. That was the best Two K cover. This one and 2K20 when they had Kobe in the front again. But it doesn't even really look like Kobe, but it, it was a good game. That was really Kobe, didn't it? Oh, you're talking about like the animation? The, and yeah, shit? the way they Well, looked. that's like 10 years ago, my dude. That was David Marlin. That was made like in 2009. Right. Oh, yeah, it's always a year behind for so sure. why are you comparing like the graphics I'm just to saying, right though. now? Like, you just spoiled. It is what it is. Shut the hell up. It is that's what it is. That's the best one. Lakers were the best in that one, too. Bro, you're I'm, still trash at 2K. I'll beat you in that one again. <laughs> Stop the cap. All right, Marlon, I have a question sure. for you. Talk to me. In your opinion, because I know you're a 2K god among us. Oh, man. Okay, guy. You're a 2K god. Wait up, wait up, wait up. Polo Swagano, PSN. <laughs> Polo Swagano. At me. I might have I'm to play out. you because I have PS4. The yeah, PS4? All right, for yeah. sure. We don't have the PS5 yet because we gave it out in the raffle. So oh, yeah, shout out man. to our raffle winner, Alex. Shots taken. Yeah. We'll try to do another one soon. Just follow us on Instagram. Make sure to like and subscribe. Back to it. Yes, sir. Back to, uh, what's your opinion on, like, the greatest 2K? Okay. I'm going to have to go with 2018. 2K, Whoa. 2018. 2K. Mine was 17. Oh, 18. mine was 13. Jay-Z's was 2K. Best, oh, man. that one? Yeah. I remember. The breakdown, the man. gameplay, all that was the best. That's Last year was cool, too. 20 was cool too. You know, this year was decent. They they kind of reclined. I didn't re- decline. Which one? Which this one? year, 21. 21 20 20 was better than 21. 20 was better than 21. Yes, sir. I agree with that. Because I feel like all they did was add more sweat to make them look more real. Sweat. <laughs> you ever seen like the meme? All the oh, memes. they got the NBA ballers. Yeah. This is what I was going to bring up. The this new is one? They, this is Ooh, what they need the to PS5. do. PS5. Man, shut the hell up. That ain't real. I don't know if this is real, but it, it says, don't look real. It says this is from Nice Kicks. They're a verified Twitter account. They said the NBA ballers cover with John Morant is too cold. Are they bringing this back? I don't know, but that thing looks hard with John it Morant. Does that would be different? Hey, that's when they had the hoopers and the ballers. The ballers. That's, that's, that's talking about phenomenal. The street. I had the. Uh, I had the. Wait, go back, go back. Uh, what would you, what you yeah, that. Yeah, right around there. That street. Yeah. Every yeah. Other yeah, that you like that, that one? was the John. Nah, that don't. right there. Nah, my, my was NBA was Ballers, phenomenal. Hey, Ballers was dope as fuck too. And one, that was in the and one. The career was mode was oh, hard. Yeah. Who remembers the one with Baron? The Davis? Baron oh, Davis. Oh, oh. That's hard. Who that's remembers? Hard. <laughs> what? I had an Xbox. That's hard. I had a PS two. I, I was a PS two. Boy, that Baron Davis went crazy, bro. That shit was fun as yeah. fuck. I feel like if they can either off the easy, all that. You think you think they will ever put that back in 2K? Because I feel like that's what they tried easy? to do. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, no, just like or just street ball style, in street general. Ball, yeah. Yeah, they tried to do it with blacktop. I think they I think they might do it, man. They tried to do it with blacktop. We got a lot of street moves in the blacktop. You play or, or do you think they should make a game dedicated towards the to street? Yeah. It wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't be. It would be great. It would be cool. But yeah, I think, honestly, it would be better that way. Even st- instead of just like adding, incorporating, you know, and all, nah, just make a whole street game and just have whatever you can play with your boys too, though. I have a I question. Um, 
In 2K21 right now, yeah. can you play blacktop, like, with actual NBA players? Yeah. All right, because that's what I remember in, like, 2K17. It's yeah. always been like that, though, David. You play with, really? Yeah. I don't, I'm you not play, like that. You always play with your with NBA players. I think you can now. It's new that you can actually play with your player. Oh, okay. You can bring your player your in player. and play versus the NBA players. But, yeah, it's always been NBA. And you can also play with um, historic players, Michael Jordan, Trey right. Serving. So, do you like you prefer the park? Is that what you do? Yeah, the park. That's where it go down at. That's, that's where we drop the bums off. <laughs> yeah, the park. Because when I play 2K, I play either, like, against random people online with, like, regular teams or yeah. I use my team. My my team go crazy, too. I like my team. Look, this is what I do. <laughs> I play it with my boys. But when they sell me, I hop off and go to my team and do my own thing. I got my own my team and see. You know, they can't sell you on my team. It's just, it's your team. Right. Play it's your team. Ups. You feel me? If you got a my team, we can run it too. It's, man, it's, in, it's a whatever. You got a my player, we can we can squad up. You know what we do? We do like our own fantasy, like kind of draft. Like mm-hmm. our friends will go like, we'll upload 2K. You choose your franchise and yeah. then you trade, like you draft players. Yeah. Like, and then you make it like your own little super hey, team. I'm down for that. And I'm hella down. That's what we're gonna That's do. We're gonna there. bring. I have. I have an extra Xbox at home. I'm okay. gonna bring it here to the shop. Okay. We're in, everyone. We're all gonna make our own teams. Okay. And then we're gonna stream it on Twitch. We're gonna start streaming NBA 2K. Hey. On Xbox. On Xbox One or what? I have Xbox One. Yeah. All right. For yeah. Sure. Unless we bring the PS, the PlayStation. I don't know. We I'm have PS4. You know, I bring that shit too. Too. Yeah. There you go. We we'll just stay. We'll save the files and then we'll play. I'm with that. So I'm I'm low key a, a 2K god myself. I'll just bring the PS2 then. The PS2? <laughs> play NBA Street Ball? <laughs> play if you got that, NBA Live All you know, man. Nah. We, nah cause <laughs> we, were, we were thinking of like, we were thinking of like bringing 2K out here. And like, I'm with it, man. You're looking. I better be on that show. Yeah, for sure. Because I know you're bringing my own controller. You're 2K, man. I'm bringing I, my I stopped playing controller. 2K, 2K13. I was like the last one. I was the best. I like. I can picture Pat playing two K like how he hard. plays in real life. I forgot. Just chunking up, chunking shit. up bullshit. That was losing. it. Losing. Losing. <laughs> Do you remember when you used to the come name, over to my house and we played two K? Yeah, that was a while ago. Bro, I was like back in high school. High school days. Down in days. Hmm. Wait, did not lose? I, I I think I went over there and lost. So yeah, I, I, remember I, I would beat you it by like 50. It was a good 50. game, negative. <laughs> negative. <laughs> nah, I remember I did beat it you. It was a good game. It. it was a good game, man. I, I didn't expect it, but we got to play, man. L. Yeah, I know. Uh, so he went and took an L. <laughs> Patrick, I beat you like how many times? Uncountable? Never played 2K with this. Oh, yeah, he did. Stop he counting. Yeah, yeah, he beat me in Madden. I, you quit. Madden. No, I'm dead serious because I have a I have an Xbox One. I just need to get another remote. Okay. Because I only have one remote. I got like three, so we can do my shit. You have an Xbox One? Oh, no, PlayStation Four. Got a Nike control. I got a Nike PS Four, and I got Nike controllers. And I, uh, and I can bring that bitch in. <laughs> you know. I need a. I need to get. Two K twenty one. Are you planning on getting a PS Five? You know. Man, shit. Somebody got it for the low. I must get how much? How much I pay for y'all shit? Well, it's actually the landlord. He, what? check him out. Mm, he know. got he got plugged in or what? Yeah, the landlord was like, "Yo, I got a PS Five. Let's raffle it." <coughs> that was the, you should have joined so, the raffle. That was I the should've. best deal you would have ever gotten in your life. What well, was like the five? Right? He would have won 20, it for it was, sure. Yeah, it was twenty bucks per entry. <laughs> Man, I'm, the, the guy that won, how many entries did he put in? He put three entries. Three, okay. So he pretty much got a PS5 for $60. <laughs> That's Smart like the best individual. deal you're ever going to get. Yeah? Smart individual. They're going for like 800 800 to $1,000. And who I knows when they're going to talk it. 1500 my New York nigga. You know, I actually have posters. 1500 PS5s in New York? Damn. <laughs> I actually have it posters of 2K. You know? I wonder how much the PS2 is over there. Jesus. Just <laughs> <laughs> there? No, I was saying that I have like because uh, I buy like the I buy like the uh, the legendary. You know how they have the legends that <laughs> yeah. come on every 2K. Yeah. Uh, they bought the hundred dollar copy. Yeah. So I have like. I don't need all that shit. I get out the mud. Oh, like the forty dollar ones. Yeah. Sixty dollars. Hey, forty shit. Sixty five. <laughs> shit. Nah, man, my bitch bought it for me. You know. Oh shit. Not around. Yeah, well, I get the legend. I only get them for the posters, honestly. 
Okay. Yeah. And they come with basketball cards. Yeah, and like yeah. ba- I don't know if and, you know anything about... And they come with better shit on the My Team, too. Yeah, you get like 250,000 like My Team points or whatever, yeah, like the VCs. That's what I should bring here. I, I have posters of a... Uh, of the what's it called? Like I have a I have a it's sick. We have a Kobe one, Legend one. We have a LeBron one. We have a Shaq one. Oh yeah. So damn, I didn't even think about that. We should yeah. probably have it here at the set. Got to. Yeah, but who do you think? Uh, oh, I was gonna say, um, who do you think should be on the Legend cover next year? Hmm. It's an early year, but of course LeBron James. Because he was in it like he two years ago. He did it for Kobe. He did it for Kobe, man. He completed the mission. Because you know how it went. He's still balling hard. It was like Kobe, LeBron, then it went back to Kobe. Mm-hmm. If it goes back to LeBron, I think it should be MJ. Only because I want an MJ poster. When? For 2K22. He ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Uh-huh. What do you mean poster, David? Like when you when you buy the game, it comes with a... <laughs> oh, of the if you buy the $100 copy, though. But, bro, Michael Jordan had his 2K. I know that was two K twelve. It's like it didn't ten come years. With that. It didn't come with the post. Oh, that's why it didn't come with the post. I'm saying this year. I didn't fucking it. know. All right, watch your fucking mouth. <laughs> Cause you, your ass at two K. So like, you, you shut know? the fuck up. <laughs> Playing real life, son. And you, bro. What happened? What, what was that Tuesday? What happened Tuesday, Patrick? I played I won, versus I your beat team. Your ass. <laughs> I beat your no, ass. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't, David. Me and David stupid. were in the squad. We beat Chaz. Did, did, did y'all? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because yeah, we were on the same we team. Won. But we then the following game, we were all on the same team. Going back. No, he. Oh, no, you're no, on my team. team. And no. then we beat them. Okay, okay. So yeah, technically, you guys beat each other. No. Okay. No, okay. you guys are wrong. No. At the end, we were all on the same team. No, so man. We were playing out in the outskirts but, in the ghetto. And yeah, yeah, he never yeah, beat Long me. Beach, man. You know? <laughs> we the do this in real life. We don't just talk about the shit. We do this shit. Tell them, tell them. Yeah, yeah, I'm like a, I'm like third team all that, NBA bro. like LA Fitness. Yo, send them the address, son. Send them the address. The Forest, Long Beach. It goes up, man. One eight four eight. The Forest. Don't <laughs> yeah. He, he don't pull up if you're not ready to run, man. And there's we a chop. The and there's a just chopper. Full there's a chopper games. at the park. Before you make a right at the street, there's a big ass chopper right there. With on the, the park, little light stuck in a pole. Like it's just hard. Like. Right? You seen the chopper right there at the park, right? Bro, that's the park. That's the other park, right? Yeah, I know, but there's a chopper right there where you yeah, go right. That's the big park. That's the big park. Well, it's by uh Jordan High School. Yeah. Long it's Beach. like across the street. Like, down the down the street. Yeah. yeah. In the little neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Good runs. Good you, runs. You got PE there, right? Shut the fuck up. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I ditch P, nigga. Ah, <laughs> we know. To go to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's go. Stupid. All right. Before we head out of here, I just want to do one quick shout out. Lakers, baby. To El Watches. El Watches, man. <laughs> Yo. El Watches. Shout out El Watches, Shout out to man. Uh, Montrez Harrell for pulling up to the shop. Yeah, we saw it, man. We... Nah, <laughs> we saw his IG post that he was yeah. there like an hour after we left. Yeah, we saw that post. So, Trez, if you happen to see this, hit that subscribe button. Yes, sir. All, all right, you guys. Yes, sir. Sh- 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 shots taken. Before shots we head taken. Out, though, yeah. That, no, it's Modelo time. It's Modelo time. Can you pass that Modelo jar? We got a crib walk. It's Modelo time. It's Modelo time. Let's go. You see that homie dancing right there? Yes, sir. So just remember, you guys, once we get to 1,000 subscribers, we're going to crack this thing open. We're going to pay the landlord, and then one lucky subscriber is going to win. Yes, sir. I want to say there's probably about like $8,000 in here. Man. I'm just kidding. Maybe like $80. No. Or eight. I don't know. It's really $8,000. Let me make it $8,001. No, it's really really G's in there, but... Davis there is. you go. Shout out to Marlon. Thank you for coming on and Damn. donating a dollar. Thank you for having me, man. Shit. We're going to have gonna you on God. more often. We're going to play yeah. 2K. We're going to stream 2K on Twitch. We're going to set one up. MJ, soon. man. The number one flipper fan, man. Yes. <laughs> Fuck you, Pat. <laughs> Does anyone else have Damn, any donations? Shit in here, what about the, la- uh, the, the intern? Yo, man. Shout out the intern, man. Yeah, the intern. You're doing a good job. Back man. at it again, <laughs> man. <laughs> Shout out to the intern. Yo, uh, I can't even get my daughter in the motherfucker. All right, Damn, you guys. Bro. Shout out to the intern, man. Shout out to the intern. I'll put it in. Put He's from New York. There, All right, you guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, we're also on Apple and Spotify. Yes, 
Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Shots Taken. My name Thank is David. Thank you for having us, man. Big fella in the building. Let's go. Yes, sir. Signing out. Farewell. Shots Taken. Till next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>